So this is the result of the first cohort, the first three patients uh, <clears throat> who uh, received the gene therapy uh, just for the first 24 weeks. Uh, we, we looked at safety as the main criterion for uh, the clinical trial, um, as well as uh, some of the effects uh, from gene therapy. So our conclusions were that uh, we saw good support for, for safety at this first low dose of gene therapy. Um, additionally, um, we had designed criteria so that the patients might be able to safely stop the standard of care enzyme replacement therapy. Um, all three patients met those criteria. So at the end of six months, we were able to stop their other treatment, the enzyme treatment. And uh, now, you know, they're um, relying on, on, on gene therapy to treat, treat their pompa disease. And we're monitoring them closely to make sure that uh, this is a safe situation and that we don't need to resume the enzyme replacement. So far, that's very successful. One other note, um, we monitored carefully throughout this uh, first six months for any sign of an immune response or specifically a T cell response against the AV vector that can cause problems. Actually, it's known that a T cell response uh, can eliminate the vector from the body, eliminate the effect of gene therapy. Uh, we did dose the patients with prednisone immune suppression to prevent any T cell immune response. And it seems from the biomarkers that we measured that that was successful. That's another important point. We would often be asked, well, you know, uh, give us an update, tell us how things are going. I just wanted to mention that we have uh, enrolled two cohorts, um, so a low dose and a higher dose in our clinical trial, and the trial is ongoing. So uh, that, that much I can definitely uh, discuss. Yeah.